four pound am jack. They catch them in the Gulf of Mexico, of course, coast of uh, They're usually about 11 pounds. I'll buy them. This one's 22 pounds. Big boy. So, good to show you guys how to butcher. What we're going to do, we're going to start by making a incision down here to take off this first fillet. Make an incision this way. Pull off this first fillet and then pull out the pin bones. There's a bunch of little rib bones and stuff in here. And then we'll do the other side. Got needle nose pliers. It's good for getting rid of those little bones. Butcher knife. Bigger butcher knife. Chef's knife. Alright, let's get started. A while since I've done the fish this big. <laughs> so, if I get stitches. using as the guide, these bones that go along and they connect to the fin. You can see the spine starting to come out. of it off. See, you can see some rib bones down there. This thing comes in. There it goes. roast them off first. Uh, raw fish stock kind of has a funky quality. Maybe throw some saffron in there with it.
They are. Imagine doing something like a snapper. You have like 30 or 40 pounds of it. You're doing this for the next six hours. Sometimes. This is an amberjack. Some fish you can cook with the skin on. I usually take the skin off of amberjack. What's the rating for that? Uh, the skin's too thick. It just it doesn't cook right. It's like eating a piece of leather. Amberjack's kind of in the middle of the road. You can do it either way. Something like a swordfish. You want to take the skin off. Notice how I don't move the knife. Skin. Cut that skin off. Slicer. Did you hear what, um, not to interrupt, yeah, you know what right. you said about the parasites? No. Um, a lot of fish, especially the Atlantic Ocean, get worms. Cod is infamous for having worms in it. Yeah. Amberjack also has what's called amberjack worms. Yeah. And they're notorious for having parasites kind of growing in them. Yeah. The bigger they get, the more likely they are to have them. Swordfish will get them. Uh, pretty much any big fish. Alright, the other side. You guys hear that crunching sound? That's the <laughs> knife against the bones, the spinal cord. We do that so you don't tear the flesh up when you try to take it off the side. Use it as your guide. You guys know what this is? This black stuff? Yeah, neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
Is that something maybe similar to like Mahi, like the bloodline of most maybe? I'm probably sure it is. Uh, it doesn't look like it's in the actual meat though, it usually is. Mm -hmm. I'll take it. Make great fertilizer if you don't use it for a stock. Chip. Yep. Chip, isn't it uncanny how the fish head still looks like Jade over there? It's almost like twins. If Jade had gills, I'd be like twin sister. I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> You don't cook and serve worms. So that piece is a gun. These bigger fish are always gonna use lose some of your uh, your yield to stuff like this. Like John said, it's just a reality of it. If you don't feel like messing around with the needle nose pliers, you can actually just cut the bones out completely. Especially if you're going to be portioning it out. Anyway. Right there, there's that bloodline John was talking about. You're going to want to cut that out too. It's very fishy and not in a good way. Close he is cutting it to the to the flesh, not just being you know haphazard. What did that fish cost per pound? Uh, five twenty-three per pound. The whole fish was one hundred thirty-five bucks. So basically, one hundred thirty-five bucks for that fish. You lost half the weight just in the skeleton and the head, right? So when you butcher these things, you have to be very careful. That's your money that you're trimming away, basically. you guys are going to learn next year when you start running this restaurant is what we call AP versus EP. As purchased, meaning 135 pounds of that fish like it is, versus edible portions, meaning once we skin this and kind of cut it into pieces to cook, how much of that's profit, how much of that's loss, right? It's one of the reasons why restaurants, so many restaurants go under is because of things like this, you know, you're perishable, your inventory is perishable.
cook some? Who wants to actually try this? Who likes fish? I love fish. <laughs> Maybe four portions? Sauté? Yeah. That sounds good. What do you guys turn on the oven for me? The stove top? Turn the gas? Four burners going. Garrett, make sure you turn on those five switches again. The hood systems. Got butter? I got butter. I don't know. Butter, parsley, and garlic. You got to try parsley, brother. Dry parsley will work. Thank you. <laughs> Four burners, please. All right. Oceans. Yeah, that's gonna be an expensive fish. <laughs> Got salt and pepper. Anybody? Salt and pepper. Uh, yeah. Those two shakers are there. The other one, the one has uh, Lowry's, the other one is salt and pepper. Lowry's? For the French fries, man. <laughs> Alright, just gonna put a little salt and pepper on this fish. Start my pan over there with a little bit of butter. Guys, come on. No, Gather around with the spare. Guys, come on, man. We have an oven on somewhere. Uh, we got to finish it. Yeah. Good night. We cut that top oven on one, please. Turn it up to 400. I've got some sizzle clips right in front of you. Right. Okay, great. Alright, so I got a little bit of butter here that I clarified and I'll let it brown up a little bit. You guys smell that kind of nice, smutty smell coming out? Yep. Start our fish with. Now this butter, you know, we will make sure that your pan doesn't get as hot as the sun, because it will burn and turn black on you, and that'll pretty much ruin your fish. Uh, I just call it brown butter basic. Uh, some people say sauteed. Sometimes we refer to it as French sauteed. Yeah. Thanks for the answer. Thank you. French sauteed could use a lot of butter. Did you want some uh, ground powder or parsley or anything? Uh, yeah, both. Great. Now this basting that I'm doing, it, it helps the fish from drying out. Amberjack is one of those semi-firm fish. It's uh, a little more firm than, say, a grouper or a halibut or a flounder. So, thank you. Yeah. All right. Then we'll, we'll add a little bit of the fresh chopped garlic. I chopped that really fine for you to say that. Now, ordinarily, would you use fresh cloves? Uh, yeah, I would use fresh chops. Um, if you can cut it in slices, it's ideal. That way you can kind of remove them if you have to. What about acid? Uh, a little bit of lemon or um, white wine, probably right near the end, because if you you're doing the entire thing, all that eating sugar is going to reduce down and then burn. They, they frown on us using wine here. Just so huh? They frown on us using wine here. Yeah. Maybe yeah. we could dump some Sprite on it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I said you're not right. No. Then it wouldn't be fresh anymore. Canadian. Do you mind if I put this whole thing in the oven? Sure. Oven's on. Everything from scratch. We do everything from buffets to uh, banquets, weddings. I do wedding cakes. We make all our own fresh baked bread. We do all the desserts. Um, we cut up fish like that. We try and sell all of it. We do Sunday brunch and clubby things. That's about it. <laughs> what are some of the functions you guys do there? Uh, well, we had the Queen's Court today. Those 30 people coming in, going to the, uh, whatchamacallit, Tuskegee Morehouse game, I think. How long have you been there? I've been there since 2001. So a long time. That's I have a. Yeah. Yeah. So how long have you been there for? 2001. Well, 16 years? Uh, you know, bracelet that I got. They won't let me play. <laughs> what is my dude? Um, I'd always worked in restaurants, and I couldn't imagine doing an office job where I'd have to sit in a small cubicle and not curse. <laughs> I like being a chef. It's, the, the hours are long. I, uh, today I start working at 6 a.m. I won't finish tonight until probably 11. So, that's Is that a typical day for you? Uh, no. Usually it's about 8 to about 9 or 10. So, so a typical day is 12 hours? Yeah. So not too bad. <laughs> you really do get used to it. Oh. Okay. And a little fresh squeezed lemon juice. <laughs> hey, it was fresh you squeezed at one point. Yeah. A little bit of a city. <laughs> One of my students just asked if you and I ever worked together. I was like, well, I've known you for about 10 or 12 years, but I don't think we've ever actually done Yes and no, we've done stuff. We, we did stuff with our food bank. Yeah, food bank and mainly stuff like this. Yeah. Efficient view. Guys, for those that want to try it, there's cutlery kits right behind Ann's head. Get one. Brown butter sauteed amberjack. <laughs> 